Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry. And I'm Irene. We've had a heck of a week. It's just one of those things, and it's funny because I was felt I was running behind. I was having trouble keeping track of the days, which sometimes happens right before an event. And we almost never leave um, on a Monday. It just that's not normally when we leave. We're usually either on a Sunday, in which case we drop the pussycat on Saturday. We're leaving a little later in the week, so we dropped the Pussycat on Monday. And I kept thinking, we're dropping the Pussycat on Monday, and then Tuesday we're leaving. Well, no, we have to actually be someplace on Tuesday. <laughs> so, yeah, it was one of those. Well, you've seen <laughs> Irene doing all kinds of things all week long. Mm -hmm. And then she discovered a leak up at the water tank. So right. So I... Emergency repair. repair. And then I found another set of problems down in the utility building having to do with water yet again. Uh -huh. So I spent the theme of the week, the week several weeks. Water. <laughs> so I spent several hours uh, trying to fix that problem. It's mostly fixed, but now I have another piece I have to replace. Yeah, well, um, we've had a problem with the quality of backflow valves in the last couple of years. They used to last like forever. And now we're lucky if they last six months to a year. And we're not doing anything different. We have a filter in the line to catch sand and all that kind of stuff. All the, all the things you're supposed to do. And yet uh, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Now, I will say that my impression, and I could be really wrong on this, my impression is that the mineral content of our water has increased in the last year or so. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, no, I think it's... I think it's just the fact that I need to fix the water softener too. Yeah, well, the water softener died. We have to decide whether that's worth fixing or whether we just throw that out the window and turn it into a flower pot. <laughs> <Do something. laughs> well, one of the problems is you buy stuff and you try and do research when it when you're buying. Oh, our daughter's calling. <laughs> So since neither of us remembers what we were talking about, I can just say that we woke up to snow this morning. Again. Yeah. Well, um, the topic of conversation last night at bedtime was rain or snow. The um, weather forecast was very iffy. Unfortunately, it's right up that borderline in terms of temperatures around 32, 33 degrees where it could go either way. The ground, at least in the shadows, is definitely very cold. Actually, by bedtime, I was fairly confident that it would be snow because the mud was frozen. Well, the mud was frozen on the top. It's still soft underneath. Right. And it was interesting getting out of our area this morning. Yeah, the main road was actually moderately dry in comparison to what it's been in the past, but it had what we call cream on top, which is a nice solution of uh, mud, adobe, less clay. adobe mud clay, yeah that uh, is very slick. Fortunately, the bottom layer was at least solid, so although you could ski a little bit as long as we were coming out, not early this morning, but uh, early enough that we were not doing any of the big rush hours, quote unquote, <laughs> where people were actually trying to get to work. And uh, we got out in one piece just fine. We got a little bit of video of the snow. Uh, I actually didn't try and take the <laughs> Sometimes you just can't get a good shot of some locations because of the, you have to shoot between things and everything else. But there were a couple of amazing snowstorms right north of town that looked like sort of exploding snowballs <laughs> just right down on the surface, you know? And when we got down lower in elevation where it was supposed to be rain, it turned into one massive flurry. Right. Right. It and it stuck into, around for quite a while. Yeah, we were, and then it turned into freezing rain and sleet and all kinds of other good stuff. But within an hour, we were out of that. So that was great. Happy to see that. And uh, and the roads were just wet. They weren't slick at that point. Well, you know what, Irene? I, I need to get editing this because it's going to be uploaded. And I don't know how fast the <laughs> right. Wi-Fi is going to be here. Well, uh, by the time everybody sees this, we will be busy, busy, busy. And we're going to be busy anyway. Yeah, well, when you get we've been with, busy all week long. When we get back, we've got multiple projects to do associated with getting the water system back online completely. <laughs> That's so much so. The problem with this kind of water system is you touch one thing and it breaks something else. Well, the, That's always the way it goes. 
it's not that bad, but close. You know, when when things go wrong, they go wrong, and it's been a number of years since I've touched some of that plumbing. Things happen. One thing that happens is things start rattling, and it'll loosen up fittings. You know, you have pipe dope, pipe thread locker that that gets hard and it cracks. It's the normal stuff. You don't normally think about that in the city because you don't usually have those kinds of situations. No, everything is are hard, hard glued sort of fittings, or fittings that have some sort of the old clay pipes would have uh, gaskets and stuff in them. So we have lots to do when we get back. We have, uh, let's see, we have the vacuum wax injector to set up mm -hmm. and to try out. I have a new welding machine that I've been waiting for pieces to come in for months. And you know what? Now it's really hard to find a cylinder to get some gas in for this welder. So the option is to find a cylinder that we lent somebody else or pay $300 for a small cylinder. So we're going to find that we're going to find that uh, right, cylinder exactly that we lent. Yeah. So and I want I've got a whole stack of stuff because I need to, we've got a whole bunch of stuff randomly stored in the studio right now, like cardboard for the garden and stuff like that. So we need to finish at least one more bed clearing and then get that cardboard down. That'll help reduce the amount of cardboard. <laughs> and then really, if we get just one or two other beds done, the cardboard will, right now, you could cause an avalanche when you walk into my studio, which is not something I like. But we've got a whole stack of stuff in there because i got to get some cleanup done in there. And I've got a million little projects I want to do. I've got a couple of custom projects that need to hit the ground running on really quickly. And uh, then I've got a whole slew of new products that need to come out this summer, spring and summer. So Say goodbye, Irene. Yeah, so um, we're not going to be hanging around drinking martinis. Not that I drink martinis anyway. I prefer margaritas. Anyway, <laughs> so until next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because obviously we are going to be doing a lot. So, until next time. Bye. Bye. Keep brainstorming. Yeah, and make lists. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs>